Looks like it's going to be a nice week here where we nice. are, <laughs> and maybe a little bit of a rain shower this weekend. We'll my, need it. My daughter, Avery, turns 10 on Thursday. Avery's 10 on Thursday? Uh, she is 10 on Thursday, so we're celebrating Happy birthday, this weekend. Baby girl. Well, April's always tricky. It actually <clears throat> was snowing and uh, freezing rain on her when she was born. I didn't know she was Isn't an that Earth crazy? Month baby. That yeah. makes sense. 10 She's years ago. She's such a little spirit. Anywho, happy early birthday to her. But Miss Carrie Petty is here. So this is the first time you. we've seen each oh, other since goodness. Amber's. Since I've been off with the baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you look you. fantastic. Oh. Thanks for having me back. Back. Thank I'm you so, so excited. Much. So I'm a little cash today. Cash, I was AKA in the garden casual. all day yesterday. I was in the garden this morning. I'll yeah. be in the garden all day today. Well, I've seen some of your posts, so it, it does make me wonder, it being April right now, what do we need to know yeah. about being in the garden? What what should we get started with? I was telling you today, this is my number one question that I get. Yeah. What do I do with my knockout roses? So knockout roses are not tea roses. They are not the long stem roses. Knockout yeah. roses are the bush rose. And I believe that's what I have at it my is, house. You have them at your house. And they can be a bit of a pain sometimes. You I don't know what to a couple of times with with questions because I don't know when I should cut them back and then I see mm -hmm. this and I think they're so ugly yep. they're dead yeah I brought this one in but the most I think I was pruning uh, a thorny plant yeah. over Easter weekend so I thought it was really apropos and you know pruning is really also for us too you know pruning off a little bit of mm -hmm. what we need to prune off in our life helps yeah. us grow more so the concept of pruning is to help oh. the plant grow better Carrie. more more lush more flowers that's, that's why we prune that's an aha moment oh good well the fact that the, the, the gardening relates to life like cutting back pruning back in order to help ourselves become more fulfilled and grow amen because I that's, like that's it. why if you I took all the thorns off this for amber so nobody come after me <laughs> hold on to this right there where it's brown okay but that's why in in my podcast growing a beautiful more beautiful mm -hmm. life that's what we talk a lot about so this is a stem from one of my knockout roses and if you get a shot of this right here oh okay this Still is an up. outward facing bud if the plant grows here and the plants growing up this is growing outward not inward outward so on all your pruning, you want to find the outward facing bud, number one. And number okay. two, hold that little sucker. Okay. You want to prune, these are my fabulous oh. Fiskars loppers. Watch these suckers. You want to prune at a 45, oh. 45 degree angle so that the water can run off the cut and not prevent present any disease. I didn't disease. know this part. I just go snipping. Yeah, the, the and water I, I and do you don't want to like rip and tear because it's like us. If we get a cut, it can get infected if it's more open. So right. a nice clean cut so right above on your that. knockout roses right above the outside bloom huh. so the water can run off. That's a perfect cut right there. That's a perfect cut. That's a perfect That's cut. That's a perfect cut, cut right not there. Very but so the timing, the thorns, Easter. Yeah. Easter is a great, great time to say, oh, it's time to prune my knockout roses. Once you start to see this growth on the bottom, these pictures are fabulous. Once you start to see that growth, that's from my garden right there. That little red growth is what you want to look for. I, cut, I gave mine every other year. I give them a severe prune 12 inches above the ground, and it looks like you're just going to kill them. There's that outside bud. Okay, then that's not a 45. That's a straight cut, and you don't want that. Okay. You want a 45-degree angle cut. And then huh. most important thing to know is when you're using your pruners, before you start, use some rubbing alcohol and disinfect them. Okay. They have a disease. It's called Rose Rosetta, and it's um, a br it's called Witch's Broom. Isn't that an awful name? And yeah. it's it's infecting all the knockout roses. So you really want to have clean pruners and protect yourself. I wear a jean jacket, long pants, old Ugg yeah. boots, because these suckers, these thorns, I took them well, all off get for you. you. They, they get you. bite. Yeah. But wear your sunscreen, wear your hat, wear your earbuds yes. when you are um, using mechanical machinery and your leather gloves. But well, I just think that that's the most important thing. Final thing I'll say, I don't use a lot of herbicides and fungicides, but the Rose and Flower Care, they don't sponsor me or anything. But this is granular. Yeah. So it stays just right there. It's not a spray. It's not in the environment. But it will help prevent that witch's broom disease that's so prevalent right she now. She is full of knowledge and information. Miss Carrie Petty, thank you so much for your time. So good to see you. Great to see you. Thanks, guys.